Hello and welcome. This uh, in this tutorial we'll be creating a toy sword. So the first thing I want you to do is get into Onshape. So log in, and then you're gonna go here to create, and click on um, that Onshape document. Name it. I'm just gonna name it Toy Sword. And then that should bring you into the workspace. And um, I'm going to do a series of revolves and um, extrudes to create the sword. And then I will I will probably uh, clean it up with some fillets and chamfers for the actual blade portion of it. So first thing you got to do is create a sketch so click on sketch click on your front plane and then to get uh, a better view just click over here on the cube front and that will that'll make you normal to the front plane so the first thing we're gonna do is create the um, handle so I'm going to create a circle And for this, um, since it's a toy sword, our units don't really matter. So I'll, I'll just be uh, guesstimating things by eye. Make a circle about that big. And then I'm going to cut the circle in half. So I, I drew a line through the circle. And then um, the trim function, and I'm going to click the outside of that circle. And um, now I'm going to click the revolve function. It automatically selected the faces of sketch one, so I don't need to do that. I'm going to select revolve axis. And then I'm going to select the line that I drew and check it off. So um, this this is going to be kind of like the ball at the end of the sword. Now I am going to create the handle portion and I'm going to do another extrusion. Um, I'm going to not an extrusion, another revolve. Um, but I have to create a sketch again. So click on sketch, click on front. And now I'm going to create that with lines. So cl click on line, go to the origin, click there, bring the handle up. Make it about uh, do a little over five again these are just like rough estimates they're not um, going to be exact then I'll bring this about about there um, to about 1.4 and then I'm going to bring it down at an angle and then connect it so that's that's kind of the shape I'm looking for. And now click on revolve. My axis of revolution is going to be this one. And then check it off. So um, now I'm going to create some like a some hand like a handle. So with uh, four four places for your um, fingers and I'm just going to create that with um, circles so I'm going to um, again this is another sketch click on front plane and now I'm just going to create some circles um, but the first thing I want to do before I create a circle is um, and if you're ever in a function you want to get out of it so see how I'm in circle right now? You can go back over to that where it's uh, clicked and just click on it 
and it'll um, get out of it. So what I want to do is actually um, convert entities of so this shape can um, I can get an outline of the shape on my sketch plane by clicking on use project convert entities this one and then click on your shape and now notice that I have these um, the outline in my in my uh, sketch plane now so now I can use that because I know that's exactly on on this shape so I'm going to use that for my circles now And I'm just going to create circle, so 0.99, or like right around 1. And then, again, I'm just doing this stuff by eye. So that's a little too far out. Um, I'm actually going to do a three-point circle. Mm, I, no, I changed my mind. We'll, we'll stick with that one. Um, so about there. That works. There. I'm running out of space a little bit. So I'm going to select all three of these and just hopefully this will easily move down. Yep. And then click and drag to move them down. And now I'm going to click on the circle again and create my last circle for the handle and um, so now I'm just going to trim these out Oops. trim uh, okay it looks like it didn't connect to this point, so I'll shrink that down a little bit. There we go. And then trim, go back to the trim function. Trim, trim, trim. And then if I look, <clears throat> so now I have the circles on the, remember this is on the inside. So what I'm going to do is extrude remove these circles and um, I'm going to remove both both sides both sides so I, I need a second end position and I'm going to say through all and through all check it off and you have what looks like a ice cream cone with the ball at the end of it and someone took a bite out of it <laughs> um, but it, it'll look more like a handle once we once we finish the rest um, okay so the next the next step is I'm going to create another sketch on top here so sketch on top of my circle on top of the handle and click on top and this is going to be a center point rectangle and that looks good extrude it out and to make sure to extrude it out. Um, so I'm moving this view around. You can use your arrow keys. 
Um, and we'll extrude that out. That looks a little too big, so we'll do we'll, at 0.5. How's that look? That looks better. So now that we have this extruded out, um, I'm going to add a little bit to it to make it make it a little fancier. I'm going to add a fillet fill it to the bottom portion, round it off on all the edges. So that looks good. Check it off. And then I'm going to chamfer the edges on the top. Give it a little uh, different look. And check that off. So, take a look. So, that looks pretty cool. And now for the blade portion. I'm trying to zoom out a little bit so I have some space. Um, I'm going to, again, it's going to, the blade's going to be on the front plane again. So I'm going to create a sketch, select my front plane, and then um, again I am going to convert entities with this square. So click on convert entities, click on that square, and that, um, that middle is now in my drawing. So now I can make a um, blade. So I'm going to go from the middle here, the middle, and up. And if that's not big enough, just keep zooming out until you get a decent size or the size that you want. I'm going to make a point to it and then bring it down all the way back down. Um, so now I want I'm going to mirror this to the other side instead of trying to recreate this exact thing. I'm just going to click on the mirror function, select my mirror line, and then entities I want to mirror. And then deselect it. And then um, I'm going to extrude this. So click on extrude and um, again I'm going to extrude on both ends. And check it off. So now I'm going to I'm going to want to do a chamfer to make it look like a blade. So chamfer and I'm going to increase that. We'll try one. See how that looks. Yeah, there we go. Then go around to all the all the corners. Check it off. And we have our sword. Pretty cool. So um, from here, you can go in and color your sword. And you can color each part of it. 
So if you want to color that blade portion, you're going to right click on that extrusion, add appearance, and then say you want it to be black. So that extrusion is going to become black now. And so the chamfer, we can add a color to that. Make it like a silver. So use whatever color you want. And then you can keep going. Keep going through. Um, color color the handle or whatever you want to do. And um, you'll have your you'll have your little toy sword here. So good luck. Thanks for watching.